Hi, my name is Kevin Buckley and I'm a veteran retoucher. And in this retouching tutorial series, how Photoshop jobs really work, we've been going over how to make images for agencies from beginning to end. We have world-renowned photographer Caleb Cool joining us. We've had a couple episodes already on why you would hire a professional retoucher if you're a photographer. We also did image selection and we've gone over a couple of the images that we've already retouched. In this particular episode, we're gonna be going over two more images. So we're gonna be going over the sunset image and the blue hour image. We're gonna be taking all the layers off and putting them on to show you some of the retouching and art direction moves. All right, let's go. Come on, so this is the last one of that Point Magoo series. Oh, and this one is just, okay, so this is the final product. I mean, it's just a beautiful shot, beautiful shot. Even on the original, beautiful, beautiful shot. So in the original, you see this sun, the sun's going yeah. down on the horizon. You've got this refraction where the heat's coming off the land or whatever. And it's, you know, it's giving that, that shimmering effect on the sun. So just beautiful, beautiful area back there. Um, there's some obvious things we talked about. You know, there's a giant drone in the sky and it probably needs to come out. And little weeds here and there that probably need to come out. I think there's a Pacifico bottle there and uh, some other trash. And then... That's probably mine. <laughs> and then we gotta, we gotta clean up this by adding some, some gravel, I think is what we said. So, yeah. So if we go to background, that's that's the kind of the first move. So what I did is I tried to bring in some more detail in this rock face and a little bit more down here and in the road and in the car. Although I haven't messed with the car too much, but one of the challenges with this one was trying to bring back enough of that car out of the shadow um, without it, you know, without it going too far where it's be gonna come noisy or, you know, some other ill effect from doing so. So the next move was just the car and oh, that's great, which, which is crazy. Like, I guess, you know, you had this car turn around, it was coming back down the road and the daytime running lights come on. Um, but only up, yeah. but they come on just a, they're probably just a tiny split second different. And I think that's when you hit the exposure. So one was on. And the other one was just about to go on because they have independent <laughs> I didn't even notice that for some reason it just went completely over my head. <laughs> yeah. So, so I went and I found another LED that was on with, with a similar nice. angle and just brought it in. And I just brought in a little more light down here, a little more light down here. So you can see this, the, the three parts of that grill really well. And the, the big move on this one is with the, mm. with the, you know, the color treatment and, and that sort of thing. And this yeah. is a big, this is a big move, and I'll kind of explain what's happening here a little bit. Um, for for say for for like a fine art piece of work or or art fine art photography, you would keep you know your eye on the sun because that's beautiful, right? You know you would do that. But this is a commercial photography uh, photograph, and so what you want to do is you want your eye to go to the car. The car is the hero, not the sun. So what I did do was I didn't really diminish the sun too much. What I did do is take a little contrast off the sun, mm -hmm. but, but instead I, I added a huge amount of, you know, contrast and light play around the car in the background of the car and a little bit of red flaring right behind the car. And what that does oh. is it moves the eye from the sunset, you know, oh. over to the car. Yeah, you know? and then of course I did this vignette because you don't want your really your eye going up the cliff too much. You want it to be back on the car, and if you go from the before, you could see how the car is kind of falling into the background, and you go to the after, you can see it's really punching out now. Yeah, man, that just night and day between those, quite literally. Next, what we're do is we're going to get into the vineyard shots, and I think from the previous video I stated. I was I was kind of on the fence a little bit, but I wanted to see if we could take it to a blue hour. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, you know, that's what we've kind of done. Um, so what I do want to show you is kind of where it started. And you can see kind of where it's gone. So this is this is the final. And I do have a bit of a crop in there, you can see. Uh, there's a kind of a gray bar, letter, uh, an L at the bottom. If I take it off, mm -hmm. it just shows you there's more to the image. Sure. Um, it's always good to keep this as a as a pro tip. Keep this in here because your art director later is going to be like, hey, we want to do an extension on the bottom. If you've cropped this out, you got to go back to a version if you've got it. If you've cropped it out and don't have it on a version, then you're really hurting. Then you got to retouch it from scratch back in. Mm -hmm. 
So if I did need it, it would just be these two little squares, uh, some of the sky, and that would be it um, to replace. But I don't think we really need it on the shot. And the reason I don't think so is because the car's already kind of small, you know? So yeah. like if we add that, it's just going to make the car smaller and smaller. And you're not going to even know what kind of car it is. And then there's no point in, you know, having it. So we're going to leave that as is. And we'll go back here to kind of what we started with. We'll take the crop off. And okay, so that is the original light that it came in as. Um, it looks like it was an overcast day. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so that's where we started. And I think I mentioned in the earlier video that, yeah, I kind of wanted to see the rest of the vineyard. I wanted to see where this car was coming from, where it was going, you know, and to show off kind of the beauty of that vineyard. Now I said before that in capture one, um, a lot of times I just bring it in standard like this, and then I'll do all the color work in Photoshop. But I've come to learn that Photoshop is great for a lot of color work, but one of the things it's not as good for is, is, is a temperature change. So mm -hmm. because we're going to such a blue hour and we're going to manipulate it quite a bit with the temperature, um, it's better to do that in, say, a camera raw or a capture one. Mm -hmm. So I did do this in capture one and I kind of went over the top a little bit, but just to show you, so I have the green version, which is the day version, and then I have blue hour underneath or on top. Mm -hmm. So I can switch it. And so say if we were turning this in, we got to round one, and the art director's like, hey, I hate that blue hour. Take that off. <laughs> I can still take it off, you know, without having sure. to start over. Um, so, so that's the first move is just to kind of get that right. And then same thing over here. Uh, if we take off the blue, we've got it both ways. Um, but then we, what we did is we went ahead and did the extension. I think there was another car in there. Um, yeah. So we just had to cut that, <laughs> cut that car out and, and do the extension. And then I'm just going to leave it on blue from here on out. So, so you can kind of tell, uh, then I kind of went in and did a little car work. So let me turn those on. You zoom into the car. And I felt like the car was getting just a bit too magenta. Mm -hmm. So I did end up bringing back some red to the car. Um, there's some contrast. Um, I thought these were super important. Didn't notice them until later on. But these two little uh, sheet metal bars way down at the bottom really do define that grill. If you don't have them there, it kind of just falls off. And you just yeah. see the front fascia of the headlight and the bumper there, but you don't get to see the bottom. So you don't know where that ends. And then I just put a little uh, LED glow because I did add some fog to the background um, to make it look like early morning mists. And I can turn on these layers. And this is kind of the treatment and the fog. So adding a little more blue and adding some fog to kind of push the background back a little bit and, uh, and to uh, tell the story of just being, you know, early morning, early morning drive. Love that, dude. Oh. But That's great. Thank you, Ian. It, um, it's a little bit of a, a strange play now that I think about it because I want to keep the car aggressive. I don't know how aggressive early morning is, but <laughs> I, I still think the car looks aggressive. It's so lowered in the front in that shot. It's, yeah. just, it's just, you know, screaming through the turn there. So it's... Uh... No, I definitely think it was the right move. Okay, if you enjoyed the video thus far, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. That way you'll be aware when new episodes come out. Okay, so in this episode, we went over a couple different things. We went over kind of how to do a sunset shot when you have an automobile in it. You want to make the automobile the hero. And then we did a blue hour shot. So we took a regular vineyard day shot and turned it into blue hour and kind of what some of the challenges that go along with that. So the next episode, we're going to be going over another image in this series. If it's up, you can go ahead and click it. If not, please wait till it comes out. Thank you for joining me. Again, my name is Kevin Buckley. I'll see you next time.